Eva. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Celebrity <laughs> mums, you know, they make it look easy, but for most mothers, losing weight after having a baby is tough and challenging. So this morning we're joined by Vic Serber from Mama Moves. Good morning, Vic. Hi, nice to meet you. The celebrity mums do make it look easy. You've got, you know, your Heidi, uh, Heidi Clawman, uh, Nicole Kidman. A, a lot of mums do aspire to look like that, but within six weeks, is it practical? It's not practical um, and it's not reality. And those girls get help. Sort of what, how to get bodies like that within six weeks, what would they have to be doing? Uh, have a trainer 24-7 and a chef 24-7. And have nannies. And have nannies, Done. absolutely. This morning what we're trying to achieve, we've got five stations of the type of exercises that are, are, are critical. Yep. Let's start with Donna and Ava. Down here doing the push-up. Okay. Now this is core strength and you lie on the mat and you've got baby there trying to amuse baby. That's it. Why yeah. is core strength? We know core strength is good for everybody but particularly why a mother? Um, a well, uh, basically core strength uh, to tighten and bring the abs back in, mm -hmm. keeping the lower back strong um, and of course the upper body as well. So lifting the baby so to mm -hmm. prevent any issues with the lower back from lifting the baby all the time. Um, and yeah, so upper body strength and core is one of the most important um, areas for a okay. postnatal. Let's go to back strength with Brooke yep. and Heath. Yep. This is not only working your posterior side of your body, but it's also working on coordination okay. and again core work for the balancing factor there. Mm -hmm. And it's terrific if mums can get together in classes Absolutely. because, you know, everybody's got the same problem, everybody's baby's behaving differently on the yes. day. Let's go to legs and bums. So yep. we've done core, we've done back, yep. and I've got to say vested interest here. <laughs> This is Nina and Lily, who I uh, know so well. It's a shame Grandma can't be home. Oh, that's right. She's playing golf today, isn't she? She doesn't love you, Lily. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that. Um, that why, why are legs and, and bum important? Uh, it's one of the major muscle groups of the body, so the more you work a, a major muscle group, the uh, more calories you'll burn. Uh, but also, I guess when you're lifting a baby, if yes. you don't learn how to lift correctly, you will put your back out. That's why core strength is so important. And also those leg muscles. Correct. So what we're doing is stepping side to side. Yep, she's got a few variations there, side uh, squats. Um, so with the toes turned out, you can um, actually activate your inner and outer thigh as well as just the front and the back of the thigh. Um, strengthening the glute muscles, which again is really important for posture. And I assume when you want to do the press-ups, you have to take the baby out of the harness. <laughs> Could get dangerous. Yeah. Um, we now move to Fiona and Zach. This is upper body strength. Strength. Yep. Oh, yes. Oh. So you're doing the push-ups, that's right. Okay. Sorry. So push-ups, um, again, are for upper body. Mm -hmm. Similar sort of um, strength uh, work as you would do with the plank. So you're working your upper body, your, your arms, as well as your abdominals, keeping mm -hmm. the belly drawn in, um, keeping the baby happy by kissing them every time you go down. <laughs> and abs and core. Again, nice oh, and strong there. Baby on the move with second mother. <laughs> baby on the move. This is again another core abdominal exercise. Now, again, core work and abs. Yes. It's important for everybody who wants to keep their body fit. But post-pregnancy, post, the trauma of childbirth. Yes. Well, um, when, you're, when you're pregnant and your abdominal muscles stretch and separate, um, mm. the focus is bringing them back in to keeping you a nice, strong torso. Mm -hmm. So and if you don't get on to bringing those muscles back in quickly after childbirth, what could be a result? There is a, definitely um, contraindications if you don't focus on that sort of mm. area at the end, um, being uh, very weak abdominals, which will then result in a, a weak lower back. Mm -hmm. um, and, again, and the longer you leave those muscles that have been traumatised, yep. the worse it is? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, generally speaking, training right through your pregnancy it, and focusing on pelvic floor Mm -hmm. and um, core is, is quite essential. And then a post baby um, coming back makes it so much easier. I gotta say, I think all the babies have been very well Aren't behaved. They awesome? And I gotta say, getting together in a group, and you can do this at home, but yeah. well done, Vicky. Thank, thank you, you very thank much. You. Well done, mums and babies, congratulations. Okay, uh, you, you can go to the website, by the way. We've got those exercises uh, set out. And, uh, and it goes without saying, pregnant mums um, shouldn't use one of these. <laughs> Today I'm joined by a man who has made ladders famous. Paul, good morning. I'll let you uh, take it away and tell us what this little beauty does. Thank you, Paul.